a gorgeous soft updo that you can easily recreate at home. First, we want to prep our hair, and the easiest way to do this is just to leave it a day old. You want to use those natural oils that your hair creates to create some texture and to keep it from being too slippery. If by chance you did just shampoo and condition your hair, which who wouldn't want clean hair for their wedding day, use a lot of dry shampoo to create that texture or even a beach wave spray. Next, we're going to start styling the hair, and the easiest way to do this is just to use a one inch or a half inch barrel curling iron and curl ringlets. I know ringlets sound scary. They sound really young and immature but the bonus to this is that they're going to fall soon and they will last longer. So, take one inch sections of your hair and instead of curling them either forward or backward, you're going to hold the curling iron vertically and curl them to the right or to the left. The key to this updo is having it look really messy and unkempt, so just take your fingers and run them through your hair to create a really nice soft wave. That way the ringlets are loosened up and it looks a little bit more sophisticated and chic. So before we get to the meat of this updo, you want to make sure that you have all the texture you need. And the easiest way I found to do this is to use bobby pins and create twists with the hair that uh, you just curled. Take a one inch section of your hair and then twist it. It doesn't really matter the technique. You just want to twist it so that it creates a little bit of volume and a little bit of texture to the top of your head. And then pin it down. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can look really nice and messy and wavy. You're going to do this for not only the top of your head, but also to the sides. If you notice that your hair starts to flare out a little bit, you're probably twisting it the wrong way. Let me show you. See how I twist it like this? It goes flat. If you twist it like this, and then you try to push it up, it creates kind of like this little mini bouffant, and it's not a good look. So make sure that you always twist it so that it appears flat. You can always create a little bit more volume if you push it forward. Now we have this gorgeous, messy texture on the top of our head, but it's time to get to the updo. So to create this, Start like you're going to create a half up, half down style, leaving some hair down at the bottom. With that hair, you're going to create a really nice messy bun. After you create your ponytail, you're going to use the hair from the top of your head to wrap it around that bun that you just created. Be very gentle when you're applying your bobby pins to your hair. You want the curls to be very loose and very pretty. You don't want them to be too tight and against your head. If you feel like the front of your hair is too perfect, you can always pull a few pieces down by your ears. Or one technique I like is to use your hair dryer. Just go around your head, it'll give it a nice windblown look. And then to finalize everything, use a shine spray to give your hair a really gorgeous luster. To keep this style intact all day long, make sure that you bring your bobby pins and a can of hairspray. I'm Kirby and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Beauty.